Mahanubhav also known as J. Krishni Pantha refers to Hindu sects in India, started by Sarvadniya Sri Chakradar Swami or Chakradarara in 1100–1200. Sri Chakradar Swami propagated a religious movement, as well as social movement, in which all members were accepted irrespective of their castes, and the traditional ritualistic religion was rejected. Some sources list the founder of Mahanubhava as Govinda Prabhu and Chakradhara as its first apostle. The religion survives to the present. It teaches that Krishna is the only God. Avatars Sri Chakradar Swami told his disciples that the Lord takes avatars in all four yugas. Accordingly, there is not a time in this world when an avatar is absent. But he told of only five of the innumerable avatars, namely, Sri Krishna, Sri Dadatriya Prabhu, Sri Chakrapani Prabhu, Sri Govinda Prabhu, and Sarvadniya Sri Chakradhar Swami himself. Even knowing of one avatar, and walking on the path lightened by him, can lead to the ultimate bliss moksha. There were only five, because these avatars fell in the Guru Parampara. Govind Prabhu was the guru of Sri Chakradhar Swami. Sri Chakrapani Prabhu was the guru of Sri Govinda Prabhu. Sri Dadatriya Prabhu was the guru of Sri Chakrapani Prabhu. Sri Dadatriya Prabhu and Sri Krishna are not said to have another avatar as guru. The biography of Chakradhar Swami Lila Charitra, Lilakaritra written by his disciple Membhat, is first biography written in Marathi. This scripture is said to contain all the secrets of the universe. Madaisa, who born in Jalna district of Maharashtra one of the sect's initial women disciples, is believed to be the first Marathi poetess. Sri Chakradar Swami accepted Maharashtra as his karmabhumi as this place had Adhikari Puresh that time. Hence Maharashtra has many Tirtha Sainthan holy places of Mahanubhav Pantha. Sarvadniya Sri Chakradar Swami considered Maharashtra for his work because of Adhikari Jivas, mainly, Nagdeva Charya, Mebada, Baisa, Mahadeza. This pantha is a pantha of Parameshwara, God, Parameshwara, who incarnated in every one of the yugas. There are four yugas 1. Treta Yuga, Datatriya Prabhu, incarnation. 2. Dwapar Yuga, Bhagavan Krishna. 3. Kali Yuga, three avatars, namely, Sri Chakrapani Maharaj, Sri Govinda Prabhu Maharaj, Sarvadniya Sri Chakradar Swami. Out of all five avatars, two avatars are still present on earth, namely, Sri Dadatriya Prabhu and Sri Chakradar Swami. The Jiv Uttarana is still given by these two avatars. The Danyan or knowledge of the god is called Brahmavidya, which is given by Sri Dadatriya Prabhu in Treta Yuga. In Dwapar Yuga by Sri Krishna and in Kali Yuga by Sri Chakradhara Swami. Philosophy During the period when Sarvadniya Sri Chakradhar Swami preached his philosophy, there were number of religious and philosophical currents like Advaita of Shankaracharya, Vishishtadvaita of Ramanuja, Hatha Yoga of Nath sect and to some extent Bhakti tradition of Vithal from Pandharpur, as Chakradhar Swami attempted and develop and propagate his own philosophy. The philosophy of Chakradhar Swami is based on dualism and it regards the soul, deity, the world of appearance, and God as four distinct constants. Also the world of appearance is regarded as materialistic, God is eternally free, deity is ever bound and soul is ethereal. The dualism between soul and God is clearly understood as a constant in this philosophy. It is believed that the original purity of soul is revealed when the slew of ignorance over it is removed. This normally does not happen because of the obstruction of materialistic life. In order to free from this imbroglio, there is no other way to submit to Almighty God. The Almighty is all-pervasive, without beginning, eternal, permeated with joy. The ever-bound deities cannot proffer the experience of eternally ethereal Almighty God. Salvation moksha is possible only by removing the slew of ignorance. Salvation is attainable in two ways, one through knowledge and one through bhakti or devotion to God. God who is without bodily attributes, or any forms, assumes incarnation in order to grant salvation of his devotee. He grants his association which is liberating. The Mahanubhav philosophy accepts the concept of incarnation. According to it, there are five incarnations of God. 
Shri Krishana Chakravarti of Dwaraka, Mathura. Shri Dadatriya Prabhu, Badrikashram. Shri Changdeva Raul, Chakrapani Prabhu, Faladin Maharashtra. Shri Gundam Raul, Gavain Prabhu, Ridapur, Amravati Maharashtra. Sarvadniya Shri Chakradar Swami, Baruch, Gujarat. These five incarnations are known as Panchakrishna or five Krishnas, and they are to be meditated upon forever. The Mahanubhav philosophy says, Panchakrishna were the only god it never reside in other human beings, other form of energies has no effect on nature, so, if you have any dukkha or problems in life you should always approach Panchakrishna, i.e. they mean to say all problems have one solution, even if you got hurt in your right hand you should apply medicine on your left hand, less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 this is true philosophy of Mahanubhav Pan. These Pachakrushnas are the incarnations of the Parbrahma Parmeshwara God. Topic: <inaudible> Code of Conduct. Sarvadniya Sri Chakradar Swami propounded his philosophy like Sri Krishna from among the five Krishnas. Although he was of Gujarati people, Gujarati culture by birth, he had excellent command of the Marathi language. He moved among all sections of society. He discoursed his philosophy extremely effectively among the people in their own language. He used formulaic language full of meaning in a compact style. One of the most important aspects of the philosophy propounded by him is asceticism. His fourfold teachings are, non-violence, celibacy, asceticism and bhakti. And the different aspects of God's incarnations to be worshipped are, name, form, activity, deeds, place, vachans shruti, memories smriti, and the blessing of God incarnate. One can practice bhakti by memorizing deeds of the Almighty. The aspirant for salvation must sacrifice his country, village and his relations and offer his life to God. Chakradhara Swami also taught the disciple of the sect when, where, how, how much alms they should be begged for. The central theme of his teaching was. Feel the soul and not the body. Living the life of mendicant and practicing asceticism severely, the devotee should live according to principle. God is mine and I am God's. The core of his code of behavior is summed up in the following line for the benefit of his followers. Even if the head is cut off, the body should worship God. Besides teaching strict vegetarianism, the Mahanubhava Panth forbids the use of alcohol and teaches non-violence. Topic. Literature Mahanubhav's literature generally comprises works that describe the incarnations of gods, the history of the sect, commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, poetical works narrating the stories of life of Sri Krishna and grammatical and etymological works that are deemed useful to explain the philosophy of sect. Lilasharitra is thought to be the first biography written in the Marathi language. Mahambhat's second important literacy creation was Sri Govinda Prabhucharitra or Rudhipracharitra, a biography of Swami's guru, Sri Govind Prabhu, in the form of 325 deeds. This was probably written in 1288, soon after the death of Sri Prabhu. Apart from Leelasharitra, Kashoba's alias Kashavraisori has collected the Swami aphoristic vachans or actually spoken words, known as Sutrapath which is always on the lips of the follower of Mahanubhav. Kashavraisori translated the sum of deeds from Leelasharitra into Sanskrit in his work called Ratnamala. Similarly he has written in Sanskrit Dristanstotarm based on Dristantpath. The first Acharya of Mahanubhava sect is Nagdavakriya or Batobas. His biography was written by Narendra and Baidevbas in about 1308. In this manner seven works which have been written are known as Satagranth and they are accepted by the follower of the sect. These works and their writers are Narendra, Rukamini Swayamvara, Bhaskarbhat Borakar, Shishupalvada, 1312. Bhaskarbhat Borakar, Udavgita, 1313. Damodar Pandit, Bakaharana, 1316. Ravalobas, Sahayadravaranana, 1353. Narayanbas Bahaheli, Ridipurwanana, 1418. Vishvanath Balapurkar, Janaprabodh, 1418. Jalicha Dev Jalika Deva Village, Dist Buldana 
This is a small village in Buldana district 27 km, population around 1500. Covered with hills, 196 house, very clean and green, peaceful nature. Here, Chakardhar Swami temple is famous. Pilgrims from all over Maharashtra comes here every month. All people are very loving and helpful. All people's surname is Mate Patil. People living in this village belongs to Mahanubhav Panth and they pray Krishna's Punch avatar. Every festival is celebrated very uniquely together. History It was Nagadeva who systematized Mahanubhava. Mahadamba was a leading poetess of the movement. Publications The Mahanubhava Panth publishes Mahanubhav Sandesh, a newspaper in both Hindi and Marathi. There are plans to eventually expand the publication to an English edition. Legal cases A member of the Maher caste who had converted to Mahanubhava had the issue of his conversion considered by the Supreme Court of India in the case Shatterbuj Vithaldas Jasani v Mureshwar Parishram. The argument was that since the Mahanubhava reject castes, they could not be considered members of the Maher caste, a scheduled caste, and were thus ineligible to run for legislative seats reserved to this caste. The court found he was still part of the Maher caste. 